now, how to become a model when you're short. The first thing you want to do is be pretty. The second thing you want to do is be sassy. If you're not pretty and sassy, please click off this video. Now that is a visual representation of the attitude you don't want to have. Hey girlies, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Matilda and I am a model here in New York City. So if you are new here, I post three new videos a week, Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays if you guys like, comment, and subscribe. So now, let's get on to this video. Okay, so to start off, I have everything written down because I want to be so strategic with what I'm saying. I have paragraphs upon paragraphs. I literally, okay, it all started when I bought myself the iPhone. Now, I was always a galaxy girl throughout middle school, high school, but the photos I've taken on my iPhone weren't like any photos you've seen before. I've never took selfies. I was more into the composition of my photos, creating shapes with my body while making certain body movements. Now, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to add a few clips to show you guys what I'm talking about, but I have discovered the power and the illusion of angles. I have discovered the power, the illusion, and the key to appearing taller and slimmer than I already am. Now, I saw the opportunity and my little small self, I took it and I ran for my life. Like my life depended on it. There are plenty of opportunities in plain sight that we don't see. Now, on to the nitty gritty. I did not start modeling until August of 2019 when I went to my very first casting here in New York City. And I do have a vlog on this if you scroll, don't scroll too far down, but if you scroll under my New York City model playlist, I do have a vlog on this. This was the very first time I was around real models, casting directors, and very tall people. I felt extremely, extremely, extremely intimidated. One, I did not book the job. Two, my runway walk was literally trash. Literally trash. Literally trash. And I was literally walking as if I was just walking in a grocery store. I'm gonna insert the clip right about no comp car no portfolio no training but the one thing i did have was a dream i had a specific spark a feeling a passion when it came to being in front of that camera and as you guys saw when i bought myself the iphone and i started to take pictures of myself i was very strategic in the way I wanted my pictures to come out. I was very strategic in the way of the composition. I wasn't taking no regular photos. I was posting them on Instagram and I wasn't getting no regular engagement. And that's when I saw I can actually make this a career. Now, back to the casting. As soon as I left the office, studio, location, I took it upon myself to network with models, network with photographers, and start building my portfolio, comp card, and resume ASAP. I went there with little to no knowledge and I left with valuable information. Now, I spent lots of money printing out my own comp cards only to change the photos out two weeks later because I was shooting with so many photographers and I didn't know what photos to use. But it definitely is a learning journey. It took me a while to figure out what photos to put on my comp card because I was honestly just using photos I found on Instagram my prettiest photos. Now, the photographers I've worked with in the start of my modeling career were all found on this amazing platform called Instagram. Now, I took it upon myself to search NYC photographers and I scrolled through until I found the type of photography that matched my type of modeling. Now, I shoot my shots in their DMs professionally and not to toot my own horn, but they all got back to me. So they all got back to me and some of them weren't even from New York and others were really close by. My very first photographer I worked with was an Asian photographer who went to school here before flying back to Japan. We had mutual friends so it wasn't too awkward but nowadays if I'm booked with an agency represented photographer we don't need mutual friends. Work is work. I started getting the hang of posing in front of a digital camera and since then everything began falling into place. It was a domino effect. 
My portfolio is constantly being updated. I'm constantly collaborating with new photographers and my friend group is finally models. Like it took me forever to find people who are interested in the things I'm interested in and I am finally surrounded with people who have similar interests. People who see a vision similar to mine. People who are interested in the things I do. People who have a similar journey. People who already signed. People who are newly signed. And also people who just like being in front of the camera in terms of like a YouTube journey. Now I have a gut feeling this is only the beginning of my modeling journey and only part one of my model series here on YouTube. Now as a short petite freelance model I've walked for multiple paid runways, multiple paid gigs relating to commercial modeling. Hello, future me here. So I just want to make it clear that I heard lots of no's before I heard one yes. This is only the beginning and this goes to show that you don't have to be the average model 5'9 in height or the models back in 1930s. This goes to show us that anybody with drive and dedication and passion and fire can become anything they want to become. So now, with that being said, I will be wrapping it up here. And don't forget, I do post three new videos a week, Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys soon.